is worried about us blowing this bow out in his bow of a lifetime. Real good boy. That's that one we seen. He's by himself. Let's try to cut him down right here. Just watch when I say stop because I know where he's at now. There's no way. We're just gonna blow him out of here. You we'll probably get back on him tonight. If we blow him out now, we'll never see him the rest of the week. No. Because he may work back towards us. Because he was coming this way for a reason. He definitely caught our wind. That's why I was afraid to go in the bottom. Because that thermal right now is going like this. After the first morning of the hunt, me and Garrett almost uh, sealed the deal uh, with our guide and Jordan's help. We spotted a bull right off the bat uh, coming up this little coley and the wind was a straight crosswind so we had to try to keep uh, even with the bull because as soon as he got in front or behind us uh, too far he would have winded us. Well I'd say the distance started out at four or five hundred yards and I, I actually ended up ranging him at 103 yards. Great bull I'll say he was pushing uh, 320, 330 bull I would have taken for sure I'm very happy with. Uh, the good news is we've seen a bigger bull uh, about 500 yards away. He was just a hog. He was chasing nine cows, bugling like crazy. We're gonna go check some cameras on some water holes. Uh, our guide and Jordan's all over it here. So we played cat and mouse with this bull for three days. At this point, this bull we had never laid eyes on. We just knew what flat he was bedding on. And with one day left and rain coming in, we thought we're slipping right up into his bedroom. And lo and behold, rain comes in. Quiets our stock down and we walk right up on him. Thinking I get one shot at this. Don't screw it up. There's a log blocking his vitals. So if he steps and I step, that'll change the angle. I'll get the log out of the uh, shot window. And I'm just going to aim at the back of his liver and drive him up in. And that was my plan. Missed him. I don't know. He gave me a thumbs up. He got a shot off. I couldn't see him. Can't see it all real clear. Gonna be around here somewhere. Yep. About all the way down here. I'm just trying to get nice and easy in case he stands up. I gotta shoot him again. Right there. Yeah. Right there. Give me a hug. He's dead right there. 
He didn't go 100 yards. Nice. He didn't go 100 yards. Full down. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Thank you. He didn't go 100 yards. Oh, look at that. Good Lord. Good Lord, I don't deserve that. Oh. Thank you, Lord. Oh, I don't even want to touch him for a couple minutes. I just want to admire him. Oh. That's beautiful. So you get the West Virginia cap count on this old sad daddy here. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three. Six, seven. He's a seven by six. And this is about uh, everything an old redneck like me can dream up. And uh, my guy did a heck of a job. Oh, thank you, buddy. Thank you. I just want to lay here with him for a minute. Thank the Lord. I didn't want to say it, but I thought I heard him crash. I heard that tip top. I wasn't know if I sent it down or not. What do you think, Jordan? I think we did pretty good. Pretty good. We're hunting with uh, Trophy Ridge Outfitters, and my, my God is Jordan, and he's done a heck of a job. Yesterday we were so close, and actually I'm glad yesterday didn't work out because the bull that I had a, was trying to get a shot at yesterday wasn't quite as nice as this. wasn't as heavy at all. And uh, this is just awesome. So excited. Garrett, thanks again for coming to be a part of it. Couldn't be Beyond. happier, man.